What's going on, FFA? And welcome back to another video. It's your girl Janice. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family. So, guys, as you can tell, I'm talking a little loud, and that is because Isaiah is not here with me. He's getting a haircut, and I told him while he's getting his haircut, I'm gonna go grab some food. But in all reality, I am going to be plotting a prank on that as. So, guys, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to write a little love message on a piece of paper, and I'm gonna put it in my purse. Something along the lines of like it was nice meeting you beautiful something that's going to get him hyped because I know once he sees that he is going to go crazy so guys that is my plan obviously I'm going to set up the camera before he gets here and what I'm going to do is when he does get here I'm going to tell him to go in my purse and get me a lip gloss and hopefully he sees it then so guys if you are ready for today's video don't forget to smash that like button and comment to Janice in the comment section below if you think that this prank is going to be a banger so let's go ahead set up the camera and wait for Isaiah to get home all right, Infinite Fam, so this is what I wrote. It was nice talking to you. Text me beautiful, and I put a winky face. Guys, I changed up my penmanship so he doesn't know that I wrote it, and I already know he's going to flip out, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in my purse, and we're going to wait for him to get home, and we're going to see his reaction. So he just pulled up, so we are about to get this prank started. Again, don't forget to comment Team Janice in the comment section below. I'm about to just go in the mirror and pretend like I'm messing with my face or whatever. And we're going to get this prank started. Let's get it, guys. Hi, babe. Babe, can you give me my lip gloss and my purse? Hey, brother, how you greet someone when they first come home? I said hi. Hey. I said hi. How about a massage or something? What? Okay. Hey, babe, can I massage you? Yeah, that sounds better. No. That makes no sense. Why would I say that? Because it sounds better. Well, can you please give me my lip gloss? I'm in the mirror right now. I'm trying to fix myself up. Where's your lip gloss? It's in my purse. My purse is on the chair. My edges are out of control. Like, my hair never stays slicked back at all. I need to find, like, some products and stuff to make my hair nice and flat and slick. Thank you. Where'd you go to eat when I was gone? Wendy's. You want to Wendy's? Who'd you go with? Myself. How long were you there? Why are you looking at me like that, Fed? Oh my gosh. I'm just asking you questions. Okay, but why are you like being a Fed about it? Like, what are you talking about? You went to Wendy's, you went by yourself. How long were you there? I don't know. I don't like sit here and keep track of time. I literally just went, ate, and left. You went why? Through, you went through a drive through or you went inside? Inside? Why? Why? Why are you looking at me like that? For what? You want to tell me why this was in your purse? What is that? Gum? I don't get it. It was nice talking to you. Text me beautiful. Let me see. You're smiling like as if it doesn't look bad on you. Babe! <laughs> Babe, this is a girl who gave this to me. It's not that serious. I just kept it because I thought it was cute. What girl writes to another girl on a note? It was nice talking, beautiful, texting. Because I told her that I liked her hair, and then we got to talking about her nails, and she gave me so her nail tech just, information. She couldn't just talk to you and tell you, oh yeah, it was nice talking to you, you know, see you soon again or some shit? Like well, she, she was busy, so she had given me this when she gave me my tray, because we were talking, but she had a line. So she was like, here, this is for you. And then she left that little message. So I ripped out the corner and I just put it in my purse. It's like random acts of kindness. You've never heard of that before? Why did you rip it out and keep it? Because I wanted to keep it. That's going to remind wow. me that there's actually people that are nice in the world that give me compliments and stuff. Like, you honestly, understand how that looks sus, right? That doesn't look It's good. not sus. You should believe me. I'm telling you what it is. Okay, but do you understand like it doesn't look... Good. It, it doesn't look good on you at all. Oh, how does it not look good on me? What? You think that I got this from a guy? Now, let's say I did get this from a guy. That's What's some sloppy issue? handwriting, too. That, that, that could be a guy's handwriting. How is it sloppy? That looks like chicken scratch. Okay, I write chicken scratch. No, you don't. 
girls actually have nice handwriting, guys do not. That not looks like it could be a guy's nice handwriting. handwriting. That's kind of and why is there a winky face? Why is the, what, What's with the winky face? What do you mean? I don't know. Do you want to want me to take you to Wendy's and ask her? Yeah, like, we seriously. can go. Yeah. It's okay. You want to go? We can go, yeah. Then I want to see really this girl. Stupid. I want to see this girl that you're talking about. Why are you acting like you don't believe me though? That's my problem. Because that just looks sus. This looks like a guy's handwriting, the winky face, and then what do you text me beautiful? That's obviously flirting. It's not flirting. That's obviously flirting. And then of course this happens to happen when I'm not home, when I go to get a haircut. You see how like everything doesn't like look good? Every everything looks weird. It doesn't look weird because I'm telling it you does what look it is. Weird. It, no, it does look weird. No, it doesn't. I'm telling you, it was a girl, so, okay. and she said she wrote that down for me. So she That's was flirting it. with you? Babe, no! It's not even like that! So then how is it? Because you're even keeping the note as yes, if it means something to you. Because I like feeling like that's something positive, okay, a positive what if, message. What if I write on a napkin, oh, you're beautiful, are you going to keep the note? Most likely not. Yes. No, you're not. Babe, yes sir, because no, I have not. stuff written from when we were in high school that you gave me, so don't even go there. I don't know, this doesn't seem... You even wrote out notes in my phone and I still have it from like 2016. So yeah, I like holding on to stuff and you know that. You're my boyfriend, you should know that I like holding on to little things like that. Do I not? Do I not? Exactly. All I'm saying and is... And I'm telling you All I'm saying is. is I want to go to Wendy's. Okay. I want you to show me this We can girl. go to Wendy's, but let me finish explaining to you what happened. What is the... There's nothing to explain. Yes, sir. Because you're sitting here accusing me of getting that message from you a guy and saying I'm not accusing you. I'm yes, sir. No, I'm not. I'm simply asking you questions. I haven't accused you of anything yet. Do I feel like there's something up? Yeah. Okay. But I'm not gonna. I'm not going to accuse you just yet. I'm going to get all my information first, and I want to go to Wendy's and see what's going on over there first. Okay, but obviously you don't trust me because I'm telling you what happened. It's not that I don't trust you. I don't trust other people. No. But the fact no, that no, this does, this does look people? funny. I'm not gonna lie. This how does look do, funny. But how do you trust other people? But you're sitting here. You're mad at me for it. I'm not mad at you. I'm because simply, I saved something. Yeah. I'm simply I saved questioning it. you. I'm simply questioning you. This does just it doesn't seem right to me. I don't know. It seems fishy. You've never done anything like this before. There's been many times where people have given you stuff out in public. And you've never saved it, but you saved something like this. Because I felt like her story was genuine. See, you're not letting me explain everything that happened. Do you want me to explain? Go ahead and explain. Go ahead. What had happened was I got to Wendy's. She looked stressed out. And you know when I feel bad for employees, I always go above and beyond to make them feel better. Just like every time we go to Kava, I gave that girl a $20 tip because she was working in the line and she was stressed out. Okay then. So that's exactly like a similar situation. She looks stressed out. First of all, her hair was popping. She had nice pink streaks in her hair. You know I've been wanting to dye my hair pink. That's irrelevant. And her nails were really nice. That's irrelevant. Okay, how is that irrelevant? I'm telling you that I gave her a compliment and I gave her a good tip. And she, we were talking and stuff like that. She was telling me everything. Oh, I get my nails in here. Da, da, da. Okay, so we why, didn't you guys ex talk. why didn't you guys just exchange numbers or just talk it out right there? What is the point of this suspicious note? It's not a suspicious note. She literally wrote that down real quick and she gave me my phone. The winky face says it all. It doesn't. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter if there's a winky face or not. Why would she wink? What do you mean? I don't know. Maybe that's just her signature. I write I... hearts with everything. Alright. It's a girly thing. Okay. You don't know how all girls right. work. Alright. You're right. I don't know how girls work. And it was apparently, completely friendly. Apparently, I don't know how the girls work. Okay. So, how about... Are you ready? Ready for what? Because I want to go to Wendy's. And I want you to go and head and show me this girl that you're talking to and you guys had a good old time with together and you know what? I just want to see that. So here, take your what You know what? I'm gonna hold on to it. Go ahead, hold on to it. Go ahead, put your you going like that? Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's go to one of these and you For can what? go ahead and tell me. So I wanna see the girl that you're talking about. But what if she's not at the ship no more? Oh, then that's just so convenient for you, isn't it? How is it convenient? Come on. Oh, let's you're so these. salty right now. Let's go to one of these. All right, fine. It was a guy. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's a prank. <laughs> Eat the nut. Eat the nut. Eat. Ow! Eat the nut. Ow! You poked me in the eye. I didn't even touch you. That was a nappy. It fell in my eye. Team Janice taking another W. How do you feel? He's salty, guys. 
He's salty. Anyway, I thought that was a freaking hilarious. How about complimenting your boyfriend when he gets back from a haircut? Oh. Wow, babe, you look scrumptious. I can't wait to eat you up later. How about something like that? Oh, you do look uh, handsome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that like button and comment Team Janice in the comment section below because Nen is on Team Janice, right? Hey, you're on Mommy's team. <laughs> but anyway, guys, it is time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Martha Miller. Thank you so much for your love and support. Isaiah, Nene, and I love you. If you want a post notification shout out, all you guys gotta do is like, comment, share, and subscribe. And turn on those post notification bells so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And with all that being said, we will catch you in the next one. Love you, Infinity Fam!